Hello everyone, the Nick Evans here. Uh, Monday the 29th of July, Daily Reflections. Um, apologies about yesterday, I didn't do my Daily Reflections. I was out cycling all day with my girlfriend, in about 20 miles, beautiful by the River Thames. Bit of lunch and all of that, and then I proceeded to eat my own body weight in chocolate and shit. So today, today's Reflections is about healthy eating, which is a real tricky one. Um, obesity is one of the biggest killers in this country at the moment. Uh, eating disorders and, and unhealthy eating and lifestyles is a huge problem, pardon the pun. Um, but things like diabetes 2, heart disease, obesity, things like that are really affecting the quality of people's lives. And I think it's a huge problem in this country. Um, a lot of my friends getting to 40 are asking me how to lose weight and how to get a bit fitter. Um, because they want to enjoy their lives with their kids. Um, I used to be about 16 stone, um, you know, and my, I love eating shit. I love it, I love it, I love it. So I have to deny myself all the foods that I really like, like breads and chips and cakes and snacks and sweets and things like that. I fall off the wagon occasionally, but generally my, my diet is reasonably healthy. Although I do love a lot of buttered meat, just because I used to love fucking heavily buttered sandwiches, like meat in it. I don't eat bread now, so just fucking butter meat, so I don't sort of see that in any nutrition guides. But sometimes it's just damage limitations, you know what I mean? So, today's reflection really is about, it's hard, isn't it? It's hard. I think we all struggle, like a lot of us struggle with eating healthily or our weight or a healthy lifestyle and... You know, all these programs, super skinny, be super size and fat families and all of that. It's easy to just poke fun at people. It's easy to be criti critical. Um, but it is a massive problem because some, some people are a little bit overweight. Some are vastly overweight. And also, it's not just about the weight, about the health, about the quality of life. And I just think it's, it's really easy to, for nutritionists or qualified people or trainers to just sit there and sort of say, do this, do that, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, it's so difficult. It's really hard. And, you know, there's a lot of eating disorder places that obviously Overeaters Anonymous, 12-step recovery programs, nutritionists, GPs, all kinds of advice out there. There's different groups you can go to, apps, my fitness or calorie counters. So there's... So much is too much out there and you don't know where to go. You go to someone maybe that you trust because behind it a lot of it is emotional issues like comfort eating, secret eating, binge eating. Obviously because it gives you an element of comfort or control or it may be just a really bad habit that you're into. So I don't know, there's no easy answers. I can't give you one today because sometimes my eating is off the scale. Yesterday I binged up. I mean, if anyone wants a tip, get down to Sainsbury's because those big packet of little mini twirls and whispers are only a quid. Um, and sometimes you just have to have a fucking day off. So I do a lot of exercise. I set a lot of goals in terms of that. Um, sometimes the eating is damage limitation. Um, I, I have to not eat certain foods because I can't, I don't have an off button. So if I start on a little bit, then that just sets me off on one. Um, I've probably had eating disorders at some points during my life. Um, probably um, small episodes, a little bit bulimia, things like that, which is really difficult for a guy to admit. Um, but, you know, it's difficult for us. So. The daily reflection really in terms of that is seek advice from a professional or go to someone that you trust and do it together. So exercising is good when you can keep in touch by text or app or WhatsApp, uh, map my run or join a, a club, um, set yourself a goal, a little 5k walk or a 10k run or something like that that you can work towards. Um, get the buy-in from your partner as well. Um, but just whatever you do, don't just give up, eat and shovel in stuff all day long, get so big you need elasticated trousers and those elasticated trainers and then sit on a mobility scooter. Let's not give up guys, it is hard. Let's be honest, we're not all fucking ripped up gods that don't ever, you know, sail through life without any problems and eat like macrobiotic food like Gwyneth Paltrow cookery books and that kind of stuff. 
some of us are real but we have to try to make that change and sometimes it's just admitting it and sharing it and speaking about it with someone else that can help us set us on that path so you know it is difficult but I think we can both both yeah probably because there's only fucking one of you out there watching this and that's probably my mum hi mum um we can do it together i think if we recognize that it's hard and don't be embarrassed by it don't be embarrassed by shit eating sometimes um and make that commitment to want to try to do something about it then we can and that's basically it today's reflection is a hope by being honest and open and that we can do it i've got a sugar hangover today I don't feel particularly great. I don't like the fact that I binged last night. But today, I'm going to eat healthy. So let's it. Yeah, fuck it. Let's go healthy. Anyway, have a good day. Um, and I'll see you tomorrow for Daily Reflections, where hopefully I wouldn't have eaten Belgium Drive, their entire selection of chocolate. Bye.